All right, guys, let's talk about Robert the Reaper Whitaker versus Jared Cannoneer. This one is official to my knowledge. Interesting fight. Should be a barn burner. Let's get into it. All right, so Robert Whitaker, former champion, of course, middleweight division, lost his belt to Israel Adesanya. Prior to that, Whitaker was on a tear. Just an all around amazing fighter. He recovered from that loss, beating Darren Till at middleweight. Great performance, hard fought battle. Robert looked good. He looked like the Reaper of old, mixed things up, looked dangerous on the feet. He looked strong, he looked confident. He took some hard shots, stood in there. Safe to say, it looks like the Reaper's back. Jared Cannonier, the guy's a beast. He's fought in multiple divisions, all the way up to heavyweight. Right now at middleweight, he looks like he's maximized his fitness. The guy's completely shredded, just a tank in the middleweight division. He has knockout power, very strong in the clinch, brutal, vicious ground and pound. He's hungry, he's driven. This is not a walk in the park for Robert Whitaker. The Reaper's gonna have his hands full. On the feet, I'm gonna give the edge to Robert Whitaker, but power, I think, might go to Cannoneer. Not quite sure how many knockouts they have each. I might post that information. But I know if Cannoneer touches you, the guy's gonna hurt you. But the same could be said for Robert Whitaker. The Reaper tends to set things up a little more, loves to throw that overhand. It's like a fadeaway fall to the side overhand right or left. One of his favorite techniques, but it's getting kind of predictable. He usually ends his combinations with his hands with that overhand. And I'm sure at this point, that's something that Jared Cannoneer has scouted. So Whitaker has to be careful with that. Adesanya Red Whitaker encountered perfectly. He slipped that punch, if I'm not mistaken, did the lean back, and countered with a hook. I think against Cannoneer, Whitaker should stick and move. Similar strategy had against Till. Be very mobile, be active. If Cannoneer boxes him in, gets him against the cage, secures clinch position, Jared has good body shots, good uppercuts. He's very strong, so if he gets a hold of Robert's neck, I think he might control him and do a lot of damage against the cage. Not to mention if he muscles a takedown, and if Whitaker's on the bottom, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Cannoneer, again, has some disgusting, brutal ground and pound. So for Whitaker, avoid the ground. Unless, of course, he winds up on top. Whitaker has some nasty ground and pound himself, especially when he postures up. He just rains down punches on you. Submission-wise and overall grappling, I think is pretty much a wash. Their skills, I think, are comparable. Durability, I don't think Whitaker's chin is shot. He looked good against Till. I think I kind of like Cannoneer's durability over Whitaker at this point. Cardio should also be a wash in my opinion. Whitaker always comes in shape. Cannoneer right now, super into his fitness and conditioning. So in this fight, I think it might come down to who gets off first, who hurts who first. Cannoneer, I think, should close the distance, get in on Whitaker, throw leg kicks, stop his movement. Robert should circle, work the jab, stay very mobile, and I could see him taking a decision. So ultimately, who do I think is going to win this fight? Well, Whitaker at his absolute best, I think takes this match. I think he's like a level or two above Cannoneer, but is Robert still at his absolute best right now? He did win against Till in his last fight. Cannoneer is no joke. He's ever improving. He's very much in this fight. I could easily see him stopping Whitaker. He's got that kind of strength and power and will, but I think Whitaker is going to stick and move and take the decision. Ratio on this fight for me, pretty close. I'm going to say 55-45 in Whitaker's favor. But you guys let me know who you think wins in the comment section. Do you got Whitaker or do you have Cannoneer? Thanks for watching the segment, guys. If you enjoyed it and this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button, like and share. Appreciate you guys. Thanks again, guys, so much. And until the next segment, take care.